Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red this Thursday morning. And it is a lovely, bright, fresh Thursday morning. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 41. Then he will also say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed people, into the eternal fire, which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Well, so having began with this commendation to those on his right, he doesn't give the ones on his left the goats who could have become sheep. He doesn't give them an opportunity, but he comes at them with a curse and a declaration that's about to address their eternal accommodation for always. He challenges them and he says to them, you are cursed ones. And this uh, sense of uh, being cursed, depart from me. So the first problem was they could no longer be with him. That's a baddie. You don't want to be going into the dark place, departing from God. You want to be with God in eternity because with eternity without God is just, it's hell. And the reality of that is so, so bad. I cannot imagine living my life without God, even alive for a hundred years, if maybe. But to live in eternity is credible. You couldn't do it. And so he says, depart from me this sense of no longer being with God. Depart from me, accursed ones, into eternal fire. See, the reality of the suffering and the sadness, the pain, the wickedness, the environment, everything that is bad. He says, because you did not take the opportunity to be one of my sheep, you now have to eternally be an enemy of good and an enemy of what is right and that sense of always being on the wrong side of God never to recover and I, this sense of never ever ever having hope it's, it's just you cannot imagine it you cannot imagine it and then he goes on and he says which has been prepared for the devil and his angels and maybe this is the worst thing of all hell is not being prepared for human beings it was prepared for the devil in his rebellion. But human beings will end up going there because they did not receive the love of the Father. They refused to receive the acceptance of the Saviour, Jesus, who came into the world to die upon a cross. This Easter, we're going to see an opportunity. We're going to hear messages. We're going to pass by people in the street, march to witnesses. And they're all telling one story. That God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Brothers and sisters, those around you, they need to hear the message of God. Be brave, be courageous, share what precious things God has revealed in your life to them, that they too may come to him, that they may stand on his right on that judgment day. Thank you for joining me. Have a great Easter. Be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow.